Hello, hello, it's Eva Eckert here. No excuses, ladies, episode number 18. And if this is your first time showing up and looking at this page or being here with me on other social media platforms, I just want to give you a quick intro. What is the No Excuses Ladies like? Well, the No Excuses really started a long time ago when when we were coaching in our Peak Physique multi-locations. That's where we were preaching all about the No Excuses uh, really mindset. But since I've watched the world in the past few months and I've realized it's the same thing, ongoing trend is showing up and ladies need to step up their game. So why not to have their own exclusive network called No Excuses Ladies because we all well connect to each other. So I thought that this is a perfect time to do this. So today, episode number 18. And what is really No Excuses Weekly Show? No Excuses Weekly Show, it's for all of you ladies out there who are looking to learn the No Excuses way of life starting with your wellness, starting with your health, so you can succeed, move the needle forward with necessary tools provided. Because let's remember that this is the foundation. The health and wellness is the foundation to move forward. The No Excuses Tribe is for all of the all of you out there, all of the badass ladies out there, and for those of you who want to become a badass, because I believe that all of you have it. I'm here to help you, to guide you, to lead you step by step to your full potential. And I will teach you, support you, and guide you, and help you to create the self-belief power, discipline, self-motivation, and mastermind alliance. So you can make the no excuses and mindset and make a difference in today's world. This is what really the No Excuses Ladies is all about. We discuss different topics. Every single week is something different. And I know that you're going to find some valuable lessons. I've been a coach for so many years, coaching clients in their m mindset, nutrition. And now nowadays, the days we move to the next level. That's what we do because mindset is everything mindset set up and propel us to do all these great things in life, right? So today's uh, episode will be all about feeling stuck and how not to quit, right? All the necessary stu steps that I can show you so you can evaluate your life and see what are the mistakes that you're making, how I can pr approach life from a little bit different perspective. And I wanted to say thank you for all of you who will be showing up, watching this video, replaying it on YouTube and other social medias, because this is the fact that you're showing up. So my appreciation to you. Thank you so much for spending your time. And I know that life is very busy and you finding the time to show up and really, really do this. So, so think about it like this March. March is a well-known month. It's been, studies been done about March that it's a month of quitting. And today is March 31st. And I figured this is the perfect show for us to really step up our game, being challenged and move to the next level. So think about last year. Think about March and last year. That's when everything starts going. Hello, Marilla. When, when we start seeing the changes due to, obviously, we know what was going on in the world for so long, right? We don't even say this, this thing. We don't even need to discuss it. We know what was going on. So go back in your memories how March was in 2020 for you. Do you really know exactly what happened? First are the New Year's resolutions every year, right? Everybody always have these great goals, these great dreams. And March comes and everybody are on the borderline of quitting, stopping, either is no matter what that is, and in fitness and nutrition, it's the main thing that people had these big dreams of losing weight, changing their life, starting businesses, and March comes and everybody just hit that moment that they quit. So why I wanted to really discuss this, because I believe that 2021 can be significant year for you, can be different. What I want for you is to be different year. Maybe after what we've been through in 2020, this should be a different year for you. But 
let's 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 think about it how is this year right now for you what is happening in your life right now this is very important to do that work guys i know that sometimes people say oh you know it's it's so much preaching it's so much journaling it's 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 taking time to do this in order for us to move forward in life we need to do this we need to do the self feedback and look into a day into a week into a month so what is going on in your life are you on the borderline? Are you feeling stuck? Like maybe in your in your mindset, in your nutrition, whatever that might be, there, there is something that might be going on. But look, if you not, congratulations. High five, guys. Jour week. That's what I always do in my sessions, in my workouts. You're doing fantastic then. Share with us then what you did differently than last year. Because think about it. Everybody, we see this even in, in in fitness right now, this trend, again, it's it's happening. It's always that March. Because think about it, how this year was. We, we had such a high expectations of this year that's going to be so different because we went through crazy stuff in 2020. We had more expectations than ever in this year. And little or no change happened. Everybody were expecting this. So you might feel... Uh, literally burned out right now or overwhelmed still you were waiting for this big dramatic change coming and nothing happened it actually is worse than it was for some uh, obviously countries and some states and that's what caused you that significant stress that can be one thing right but there are other factors and we're going to discuss this more deeply so how we can make this year better by learning the tools to unstuck ourselves and knowing what's happening what is, that stuck goes first and then it's the quitting so what are the tools there's always solution to a problem think about it there is always something that can help us uh, with situation with problematic situation and let me tell you uh, that would be awesome if you guys would share i see you guys logging in share something share because remember posting it out there sharing with someone will not will create also like a community people will see oh i am not alone hello fabi the other person is going through the same thing what i'm going through right now it, it, it will create some connection that's one thing but then you're not gonna be feeling like you are only one and also people will give you the, the the tools as well so think you are not alone so write it down are there anything in life right now that you're feeling stuck what is it because let me tell you i'm going to give you an example so how many times i felt stuck in my life and i hello donna and i know that so many of you had these situations so why i wanted to point this out because i want you to write down right now, if you can, listen to me because multitasking is not recommended ever. But by listening to me, writing it down, the moments of your life feeling stuck. So let me tell you, I'm gonna, I have a list literally here so I wouldn't forget about this. Let's go back to my early ages, early, early stage, early age. When I was 20, that's over 20 years ago when I was studying physical education in Poland. And that's my field, physical education. I studied for five years. I got my master's degree in phys ed. That was absolutely my dream. Uh, it's been always my dream. That's that that that's that's the field that I've been with, and I am so thankful for it that I found the golden goose on my way, right? But that's what I tune into myself, and I knew it that this is the the way for me to do it. But it wasn't always that easy. Let me tell you. It, it, if you don't know how the universities in Poland, in Eastern Europe work, this is so much different than education here uh, in US. So uh, I had to pass the exam of, of running through a very high hurdles. They were pretty high. So we were doing all kinds of sports and I had to pass that a particular exam. But why I had to pass in the a, in a, in a first place when all my colleagues already did that? Because uh, I... I, I I had an accident when skiing on our one of the winter sports that we were doing and I torn my ligaments so I couldn't do it at the right time so I had to study and do this so let me tell you passing through these cells was something like athletics it was some always something hard for me 
I was never a fast runner. I was better in long distances. And now these things, higher than my knee level, this was just bizarre. So how I'm going to jump over this? What is this coach trying to asking me for me to do the split in 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 freaking <laughs> hi Eliana there comes the pretty one hugs and kisses um and and uh, what he wants me to do jump over these freaking crazy things and I felt stuck for four months the, this was I believe this was I think my first first year I believe and I was on the borderline of quitting this was my dream to finish this university. And I thought that this thing will break me. When I think about it, I have tears in my eyes. Because it always goes back, guys, to this feeling of, uh, in, th like, feeling ho helpless. I was feeling like, how am I going to do this? I was after recovery with this leg. The leg did not want to work as I wanted to. And I knew it that the time is rushing and I have to do this. Four months. So first thing, what, and I'm going to tell you how I overcame and what are the tools to do this. So that was one thing. Number two, I was not expected. I was not accepted. We'll be watching, but I'm driving. Okay, got it. Uh, and I'm going to go back how I went about it. Okay, so you have an idea. I was not accepted immediately uh, when I wanted to come to US because I was looking for all these ways to come and the first way was for me to become an Yanni and fly over here and let me tell you I did the whole project and the organization didn't accept me but the fact that they told me no I did not take it uh, completely to myself I said okay fine they tell me no but I'm gonna search and I'm gonna tell you how I go about it so there are things in life and situations in life that you're going to get stuck. That was another thing. There's plenty of things that we get stuck in life. So many that sometimes we take them for granted. And what I wanted to tell you is because you're going to see that when you look at them and you overcome them, they, you are like laughing at this. You're like, how silly I was that I did that, right? That I felt even that this is the end. You know, uh, the professor at my university, when I flew back, in between my my uh, my time here in America, I flew back to finish my university because I had one year to finish. And he told me no. He said, I am not taking you in. You're not going to pass this exam. And I was willing to study for three to four months so I can pass the exam, so I can join my team, my group that I spent four years so I could finish this five years, graduate with them. Think about it. Graduation, this is big. He told me no. I felt broken. I felt uh, helpless. I felt like I had a hole in my heart. I felt like the whole world was ending. And I know that you felt like this so many times. That's how it felt. And 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 I I and you feel stuck. But I tell you.